forever. Dog. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the American Arts and Culture Review. My name is Whitmer Thomas, and I'm joined by my my co-host Clay Tatum. Hit it, That's hit it, Clay. Me. Today, today we'll be talking about some great new films like First Man and um, some other new films like that. Uh, have a good day. Here we go. Here's the podcast. Go ahead, hey! Go ahead, come on! All right. Uh, today, Clay and I are joined by our uh, number one guest, Bud Diaz. Guest, Diaz. Hey, what's up, everybody? Right. Best audience in the crowd, uh, Rod Berry. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. It's oh. nice to have you all here. So, uh, what's in the news? What films have we seen, guys? Let's get it going. Oh, actually, I kind of want to do something first. This, I'm going to try something uh, new here. Okay. That we haven't done before. Okay. Um, uh, we normally like to talk about movies, because that's, that's part of the arts. But what's actually uh, more part of the arts is... Um, paintings. Everyone loves a nice uh, uh, painting. Well, it's the original art. Yeah. And so let's. Uh, so <laughs> the first uh, art. So paintings have uh, been in the news lately. Have you heard about those? Um, so let's <laughs> let's let's get into uh, Clay Tatum segment art uh, painting art news uh, about paintings. <laughs> okay. So over the weekend, you might have heard about this. Banksy was uh, showing a photo at uh, Sotheby's, <laughs> and boy did he get egg all over his face. He was showing a beautiful uh, piece of art of a girl flying a heart, car- uh, heart kite, and everything was going as planned. People were uh, begging for the sucker, uh, and wouldn't you know it, the thing accidentally goes through a shredder. Uh, apparently something happened to where uh, the guy who's framing it put a freaking shredder in there. I don't know what the heck they were thinking when they were doing that, but uh, little do you know that this sucker went off mid-bid and everyone was freaking out. Uh, Banksy must have been... Uh, uh, his head was probably spinning at that point. And, uh, but everything ended up uh, okay. Because the guy goes, it's okay, I'll buy it anyways. So every, so that's the end of art news. I have a theory. What? What's that? I think it's on purpose. I think that Banksy, knowing okay. him, he's a rebellious right. punk okay. rocker. He's anarchy. Right. He is anarchy. Okay. So and we have UK. a paint truther here. Yeah. So I think that Banksy set okay. up the set up the auction. Right. He has put the painting your, of the girl. At the all right. Heart Everyone, plate. put on your tinfoil hat. This is this so is listening. truly wild, mm-hmm. unbelievable well, stuff. Well, I'm just saying that this is what I think. Okay, well, you can think what you think, but okay. this is what I freaking think. Okay. I think that Banksy set up the shredder to oh, go boy. off right when the biggest bid came through, and it did. And he he wants okay. remains. Banksy is the bay of the art community. And thank God for this. Okay, Did you see right. footage of it happening? Oh yeah. The yeah. auctioneer said the auction goes to the shredder on the wall, and then everyone it was it was really embarrassing for everybody. Wait, what? Well, yeah. Wait, the shredder won. Yeah, oh, the then shredder, it's fine that it's the shredder, shredder won. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of like the reverse. That's that's how it it, it was all pre planned, I guess. Run, okay, run this yeah. one more time. So the auctioneer went knock knock knock. Okay. The auction is goes to the item there, goes okay. to, and then he sees a shredder on the wall, and he says, "The shredder on the wall," uh-huh. and then everyone gasped, yeah. and then there was one guy with his phone out, and he filmed it, and that was it. The auctioneer really said that. Yeah, he said that. Mm-hmm. Pull yeah. it up. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what is your theory, Clay? You think it was on a I guess it was on purpose because of what. What the heck? Don't, don't, that, my painting! My painting! Dang it! Oh, we're watching the oh, video that's right now. <laughs> oh, what, yeah. what, what, what's going on here? Who put a freaking shredder in my painting? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know. I was framing it. I thought you wanted the shredder in it. What? What are you smoking, dude? Um, I didn't want a freaking shredder in here. That's my freaking painting. Hey, you, hey, Banksy, I know you're mad, but I'm mad, too, because I bought the dang thing. Okay, then well, you're... Well, let me do my scenario. Okay, let me put... 
stop the yeah do Facebook some video. badass music. that was the that was the video that we were watching yeah well that's a video but this is it my theory thing. video oh, okay. that's his yeah. theory video this is my theory video okay so buddy already up. told us what actually mm-hmm. happened <laughs> so, but these are my theories all right so okay so let's so play some badass cool music some anarchy okay here's some anarchy music for you pal Get this, just when we walk past these doors, I'm gonna take my painting and I'm gonna make sure to sell it for money, many, many dollars to all these rich folk. These are the bigots of the world. There's people in this crowd right now that need, don't know nothing about what it's like to be blue collar like me, Banksy. So here we go, let's put my painting down here. Hey, oi, booby, do you have the shredder? Okay. Yeah. Yes, but, I, I have the shredder right here. Oh, oh thanks, Bubby. <laughs> yes, do you need anything else? Oh, yeah. I need you to hold this button. And oh, as soon... it's a heavy button. Yeah, but hold the button for me, babe. <laughs> okay. And as soon as someone bets all the, oh, pow- oh, oh. All the pounds in the world, I oh, want you to press a button. And b- boy, won't they know. Hey, Shippy. Hey, Shippy's not here. It's just me. Oh, hey, Bobby then. Hey, Bobby. Um, and also, can you make sure to play the song London Calling? Okay, as let me soon put as it. it starts shredding. Okay, so. Okay. All right. So, highest bid. Um, I want the, I want for forty million dollars. I bought the painting, and I want to give him forty million dollars. And forty million dollars go to the painting man. And oh, thank you. I can't wait to hang the painting on okay, my wall. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah, and I'm Banksy, and it's shredding right in front of him. There's nothing better than this. Yeah. This plane is going perfect. Thank you for your help, mate. We are the last original punk rock artist. Shepard Ferry ain't got nothing on me. Banksy out. And you mean to, me too, I'm out as well. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Let's, yeah. See Bye, Bubby. Bye, Bubby. Someone help me with this button. It's heavy. I'll help you with the button. <laughs> Wait, Rod is here too. This is my friend Rod. That's a perfect story. Yeah, so that's what I think happened. Okay. I'm surprised he chose Bubby because Bubby's recognizable. He's one foot tall. Yeah. yeah he, he carrying a uh, button bigger than that's why I like Bubby because he's always around to interact with my scenarios. Yeah. Uh, well, he's so small. Yeah, he's he really fits, small. fits everywhere. So let's just agree to this. I agree. That's fine. Okay. All right, so what else is uh, what else have we seen? Let's get into some fucking. All right, well, news. I saw the film, newest film from da- Damien Chazelle, our <laughs> favorite director. He's our number one director. He Jazz did, man himself. He directed, <laughs> he directed La La Land. Um, I love that guy. And uh, God, I get so excited whenever you bring you bring him up because he's the one guy who actually he's a mixed house and uh, who would have thought jazz and movies. Together at last. Yeah, and well, that's why it's Clay's number one favorite film, and that's also why it's he's his number one favorite Your director. director. I have a argument. Uh, it's an ongoing argument. Who's better, uh, Damien Jackman, sure. Chazelle, no, or my boy Jay. Christopher yeah, Nolan. Nolan? And of course, <laughs> Damien Chazelle this, wins every time. No, Christopher Nolan Damon would Chazelle kick his fucking time. ass yeah, right. with a fucking Beyblade yeah. from Batman. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, Damien Chazelle would be like. What are you doing here? He goes, no, what? Ass no, what? Uh, no, with a uh, drone. Oh, but da- uh, but does Damien Chazelle know uh, the Dark Knight himself and the Commissioner? Commissioner could get all of Gotham City's cops to go to freaking Damien Chazelle's ho- house and fucking break through his snare drum. You better take it. <laughs> I ain't taking that back. You better take that back. No, anyway, so I saw First Man, and let me tell you what, okay. I'm pretty harsh on Damien Chazelle because. I think that he's whack as hell. Okay. But then All right. I, it's so soon, slow but hold on. Out. And I'm like, what is First Come Man? On. I don't know nothing about Remember what who First Man is talking about. I don't know here. nothing about what First Man is about. So I get down, I sit in the film, and the. My, my thing was, is the first, one, the first guy who ever played the trumpet? <laughs> yeah, that's what Clay's thinking. We don't know what this is about, and I'm hoping, dear God, I hope that's not it. Because Clay wouldn't stop yapping about the damn first okay, trumpet. Okay, calm down, pal. Come on. Uh, so we get in there, and I sit down, and boom, what do we first see? A spaceship rocketing through the sky like a glorious bat plane. Okay. And I go, okay, <laughs> okay let me I just, can get into this. Okay, let me just, okay. Bat so, plane? So the bat plane <laughs> is, let me write this down. Uh, yeah. So the bat plane is skyrocketing through the crowd, bat and plane. I'm thinking, if there's a brunette hunk mm-hmm. in this... Mm-hmm. Car, yeah. this plane, uh, uh, space car. I'm gonna be freaking stoked, like Bruce Wayne. Much. But instead, it's a blonde, blue-eyed yeah. boy named yeah. Ryan Gosling. And I'm like, you know what? He's in the bat plane, yeah. skyrocketing through the sky, sky in space. Sky. 
I can watch this. This movie starts in the space. Yeah, it starts in the space. Okay, let's get, space. let's get some space. So play some well, space. Well, let's, let's play some space. I can't music. slow down when I see okay, a film. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> So we're in space. Okay, we're in space. And it's shaking and quaking shaking, all over the place. Shaking, shaking the rocket. Shaking and quaking and all over shaking the place. Shaking and quaking and hitting and hitting. Yeah. And then he lands and they go, well, this guy's a hothead. And this is why I like it. I'm immediately in because I love a film about a hothead. Okay. If you got a hothead in the film, I'm watching it. Okay, Every great film right, starts okay. with a hothead. Joker was a hothead. Bruce know. Wayne was a hothead. Okay, all right. Bane was a hothead. <laughs> That's okay. Hot Let's keep it, keep it with the Damien movie. Man. Okay, sorry. You're going off. You're going off on this Dark Knight direction. Oh, okay, okay. That's really so in. he he goes home and he's got a brunette wife. And I go, all right, at least we got one brunette in there. <laughs> okay, what, okay, hot okay. Head. And his brunette wife has a baby girl, and the baby girl is sick and has uh, cancer, and she immediately oh. fucking dies. <laughs> and uh, okay, this is ups- upset spaceman. This is upsetting me. Yeah, and spaceman really hangs on to this moment, and it plays a key role in the rest of the film. Um, so Spaceman is uh, trying Space desperately Man. to uh, take care of his wife. Okay. And so he knows, if I want to take care of my wife and my son and my new baby, I need uh, to go back to space. Because he just, Got there's something baby. about space that he loves, and he knows if he can get up okay, in space, his space. wife is going to be okay. Time. Okay, new baby time for space. Okay. Yeah, so he got to go up to space. He gets into NASA. He, um, at this point, he meets Buzz Aldrin. And they decide we're gonna go into um, the moon, and that is exciting. Okay. So, but all of his friends are dying left and right on okay. space missions. Yeah. And uh, he's not. What type of okay? What type of moon are we in? Well, now we're about five minutes from the end of the movie. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's get into it. All right. So they're flying up to space as fast as they can. They built the ship. Yeah. They get there. They gotta just de- yeah. de- de- <laughs> depart from another spaceship. They gotta go onto the moon, and he lands the moon. He lands it perfectly. At this Let's point, get on the moon. Buzz, Let's Buzz, Buzz, Buzz says to him, "Are you ready for your first jump?" And so he says, "Well, that's uh, uh, yes, sir. I think I am." Yeah. So he hops off the uh, space uh, park parked space boat, and he walks onto the moon, and he takes his his kid's cancer bracelet and throws it into a hole, and as if to say. This is you, you would have been proud of me. I love you, and I'm crying. I love that. Yeah. I love this film. I rushed home. What DVD do I put in? But The Dark Knight, okay. and I I there. find that's a perfect just... allegory between the two things. Okay. Because that's just slow down. The here. Dark Knight has Batman, Bruce Wayne. Okay. It opens on him. Okay. He is recovering from right. a great loss okay. because of Gotham City has right. gone downhill, okay. and he's decided to come right, Batman. Pal, Batman slow is down. space. Okay. Batman is space because he's black, so is the space. I get it. Um, no. But what was your favorite part of this uh, movie? The what did they sh- they shine that big light in the sky with they, when they need when they need him? Oh uh, yeah, well they Commissioner Gordon knows no, he's no, got no, to no, shine. No, guys, stop with the Dark Knight. We're talking about Jazz Man himself, his <laughs> fourth movie. We're talking about the First Man. But your thoughts on First Man? Your favorite uh. part. Did you ever see Apollo 13? Um, yes. Yes. It's kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, because, well, okay. So, there's a lot of shaky cam in this movie. Okay, mm. shaky cam. Okay. Because shaky cam uh, it signifi- is like a symbol because in space it's very shaky Can't up there. keep camera still. Yeah. But it's part, it's, it's a choice. It's a choice. Camera And, um... Well, but which is a, in direct contrast to The Dark Knight, which is lots of long, okay. steady shots. Okay, all right, okay. When... Is that what that's known for? <laughs> what? The Dark Knight? It's known for its long, okay. steady shot. All right. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Let's just, okay. Clearly, you just want to talk about The Dark Knight. Let's get into it. Okay. Well, I'm just talking about it as a perfect, if you, they're parallel films that have the exact same okay. message. What is, The Dark Knight is, okay. Buddy just handed us a. Oh, what is this one? That's, I'm, as you've been talking about, I made that for you. Okay. It's a drawing. Yeah. Okay. First man movie, uh, man. In, okay, so there's a guy in a spaceship. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have seen this movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, uh-huh. There's a the spaceship has a flag on it that says first. Uh huh. And what you know, there's a bat signal in here yeah. too. Yeah. Right down there at the bottom. Coming right out of what does it say? Gotham. Got no. It says Gotham. Gotham. Gotham, oh. Gotham City. Yeah. My, my man, you left the H out. Oh, let me see. 
Okay, well, I get what Buddy's trying to say. I appreciate it. Ideally, Bud, drawing doesn't work that great on a podcast because you yeah. got to talk about it. But I understand he's trying to get my mind working. Right. What is First Man? First Man, Batman, both men, both <laughs> superheroes. Mm-hmm. First Man, his power is that he's first on the moon. Right. Batman's power is that he has all of the powers of a bat. Uh, he can fly. He has a radar. He can bite. Now, <laughs> Batman and First Man, are, do they exist in the same world? I wish I could say they do, but Batman, uh-huh. I think, exists now, and First Man is um, clearly a period piece that takes place in the, in the 60s. But okay. who's Joker? Okay. If we're talking, uh, Joker is Russia. Russia operates on no, you know, simple, there's no way are to. Are you talking about out. Trump's Russia? No, I'm talking about Russia of the 60s. It's a competition, the space race, my pal. Okay. Oh, we're still talking about the first man. We're talking about the first man, and the, but why is there a space race? Okay. I'll tell you why. Because some people just want to watch the world burn, okay. which is what the Joker is doing. <laughs> okay? He wanted to watch the world burn. That's what Russia's doing in the 60s. Okay. Okay, so the Joker does. He burns. The Joker, sometimes you find out why is Russia going to the moon? Oh, what, what do they want from the moon? Well, sometimes, guess what? Joker's just burning the money. There's no reason. He just likes okay, chaos. Okay, so okay. that's enough in the movie review. So let's play it out with a classic. But you didn't. You guys didn't rate the movie. I gave it ten out of ten. Are you, are you talking about First Man? Yeah, and, and Dark Knight. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I mean, they're a perfect film together. It's basically a prequel and a sequel. Prequel and a sequel, all in one. Clay, here's my thoughts on <laughs> um, First Man uh, by Jazz Man Damien Chazelle. Um, Bat plane in the sky. Why did I write that down? <laughs> okay. Uh, Joker is burning the money. See it? Why did I write that down? <laughs> and some people want to walk Okay. Oh, here you go. Spaceman got a baby. Okay, time for space. <laughs> so, for all, for all, everything that I just said, that's why I'm giving first man... Okay. I give it 10 out of 10 too. I know, man. I mean, you screw me up. Why? I wrote nothing but Batman. <laughs> well, that's your own. Because you're making those connections too, man. That's not my fault. Yeah, there's such obvious connections that you can't help but make them. It's like I'm writing a freaking comic book I mean, here. I'm trying, to do a, I'm trying to do a serious movie review here of The First Man by Jazz Man Damien Chazelle. <laughs> I, I told you everything that happens in the film, and I also told you some stuff that happens in The Dark Knight that's similar and why they're a perfect combo viewing. Grab some popcorn. Here's what I, here's my advice. Grab oh, yeah. some popcorn, a large soda. Uh, go sit down with some of your best buddies. Okay, Bud's, and Bud's go, drawn again. Okay, well... Let's see. What are, you, what are we drawing? It's too early. I'll show you in a sec. Okay. okay, so sit down with some of your best buddies. I'm talking six friends you can talk cinema with. Watch First yeah. Man. Imagine, uh, and then imagine, uh, you know, the movie. W- but First Man is yeah. sort of like Batman and Russia's Joker. And then watch Dark Knight, and you'll see that they're essentially exactly the same movie. Right. And that makes each of them better. They complement each other. And that's Wits Movie Review. Yeah. <laughs> You guys see, um, what's what else we got here? Okay, TV review time. What have you guys been watching? Uh, str- I saw Stranger Things. What is, what's the Stranger Thing? Well, Stranger Things is this alien man is coming from the middle of the... Okay, we don't have to go through all of this. What is it? Uh, the, well, basically these boys gotta figure out how to get rid of the al- these alien guys. Oh, it's an alien movie. Well, they're from a different dimension. Like, <laughs> They do look like aliens, though. Who's this? The boys. The oh, boys? no, the boys. The, the boys look like boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Regular boys. And so they got to get the alien guys out of there because their friend, their buddy Mike is sucked into Mike's in this movie? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm liking this crap. Yeah, Tell so, me more. Okay, so basically what happens is the Mike gets sucked into this crap and these alien guys are sucking on crap. And the boys find what are these it. aliens doing? They they're sucking on crap at their house, and so they got to figure. So out. aliens are just hanging out in the house, <laughs> sucking crap. Well, they live in this weird, dirty old house, uh-huh. and Mike is there trapped in a tent. All right, guys, clean up this house. I'm getting oh. into this movie. Man, well, well, someone should be saying that. Okay, let's. And, uh, and let's say luckily, scene. Winona Ryder's there, and she's talking to the walls because uh, the everyone. Winona's coming. Let's clean up our crappy house. No, they're not saying that. Oh. They're saying we don't care. 
we'll suck your face. Oh, okay. yeah. And she's talking... Hey, everyone! What, who is it? Winona. Winona's coming! Screw that, girl. Suck her face. Yeah, we're gonna suck her face when we got her boy. And she, he's living in a tent. She's talking to the walls. And, uh... And okay, so she's freaking out. Because her boy's gone. And then all of her boy's friends... Where did the boy go? He went to the um, alien's house. Okay, let's do it right now. Wait, okay. The alien's house is in his house. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because it's a different dimension. Okay, wait, 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 Let me just catch The alien's moving into his house. house. Okay. Where's, the, where's the boy? The boy's in the alien's house. And where's the alien's house? In the boy's house. Do you see? I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the boy's friends, well, guess what? They miss him because they're best friends, and this is a good hey, boy. Where's the, Is this Mike? Yeah. Where's Mike? I haven't I think, seen Mike in a long time. I, I think I know where he went. Where did he go? Dad, there's some aliens in town, and I think he went to their house, and he's stuck. Yeah, freaking right. Yeah, well, some of them are dismissive. Anyway, they hop on their bikes <laughs> and they ride, <laughs> and they go to aliens. They figure out... Hey, if you guys are going to ride on a bike, I, well, I like a nice bike ride. I guess I'll go anyways, even though I don't believe you. They meet this weird little girl who's got powers, and she's making people piss their pants. And then Mike is uh found and they get mike out of there with the cops help and the aliens uh the aliens, the aliens are pissed off pissed off uh, where's my boy where where's my, my boy well, that was my house that was my house where's my boy why are my pants and pissed? that's the end but guess what there's a second season and that is that's why we give stranger things 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 okay but did you finish your drawing nope Oh, Rod, have you been watching TV? Uh, I mean, I just I've I only watch what Wit tells me to watch. He told me to watch Stranger Things. I saw that. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Do you watch anything just on your own? Uh, well, you know, I watched Dark Knight Rises. Okay, then we're not. We're yeah, not no, I, I watched Dark Knight Rises too. <laughs> okay. I watched it with. I'm talking about TV, my man. I watched it on my TV. Yeah. No, yeah, we did watch it at Wit's house on his TV. Yeah. Well, originally, a lot of people don't know this about Dark Knight Rises. But originally, okay, awesome. Joker was supposed to be in Dark Knight Rises, right? but because of the untimely passing yeah. of Heath Ledger, they had to come up with a new idea. Okay, now we're going to go into what the hell is going on with music these days. Uh, and we're, this is a bunch of boys uh, hanging around the campfire talking about music. Um, and what, we, what, what, what are we listening to? Wait, you start. Well, lately I've been listening to a lot of... Uh, um, well, I guess I, I've, mostly I've just been listening to a lot of, uh, Blink-182, really. Uh, what do they sing about? They sing about dating and being a wild kid. Wild bunch of guys dating? Wild bunch of guys dating. Ooh, okay, let me get, okay, let's get some sexy music for this. I'm getting pretty excited. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, I'd say the best uh, record to check out by Blink-182 is Enema of the State. It's a perfect blend of their pop-punk sensibility, but it also has some more... Are you talking about Enemy of the State? No. The movie starring Will Smith? I'm talking Enema of the State, and this is a perfect example of how funny they can be. This is going blue. They can go be hilarious... Uh, and also serious at the same time. They have songs about uh, guys getting fucked by their bicycle seat, and then okay, they also have songs right. about uh, a suicide. And their one of their songs, Adam's song, uh, recently was hailed as the number one uh, song against suicide. It's an anthem for suicide um, people survivors, okay. and uh, that's really important to me. And that's why I check out. I'd say check out Enema of the State, uh, and I give it ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Nailed it again. Okay, buddy, you done with your little photo? Let's see here. Okay. Okay, there's a star inside what looks to be a crib Mm -hmm. next to a doctor. Mm -hmm. And above it says, congrats on your baby. Congrats on baby. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. It's a riddle. What movie do you think I'm talking about? Okay. We won't pass this on to you. I'd say because you've been drawing since we started talking about First Man, I'd say this is probably mm-hmm. about First Man. First Man. No. No. Okay, mm-hmm. Rod, you want to take a look at Okay, this? let me check it out. Okay, so there's a, some sort of... He's a, definitely oh, looks wait. Like a, okay, you're talking about a movie that had nothing to do with this podcast. Yeah. That's, a, that's a coach. That's Star is Born. Yep, you got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'd say check out um, Blink-182's Animal of the State because I think it's really good and I give it 10 out of 10. What yeah, do you think? What uh, do you think of it, Clay? I... This is I, this is me just now hearing about it, but no, look, look everything that you just said about it makes me think yeah, I'll give it ten. I did. 
All right, and Bud? 10 out of 10. Rod? 10 out of 10. Okay, well, I saw another movie. Uh, do you guys want to talk about that? or should... No, let's do movie talk. All right, so this is our last movie review. Last of the day. movie review. Okay, well, after seeing First Man and then immediately rushing home to watch The Dark Knight, I decided what better movie to watch than The, the Dark Knight Rises, starring <laughs> Batman and All Bane. Right. Now, this film okay, immediately picks let me, up... Let me write this down, Dark Knight. Batman yeah, so this movie immediately picks up eight years after The Dark Knight, starring Joker. And this time, the people are pissed. Batman uh, is nowhere to be seen. He's got a king. And Bane where's is... Where's Batman? Where's, where's, where the heck did Batman go? Yeah, so he's fly- Bane Batman? is flying around, uh, snatching planes and giving people new blood. And then he drops this plane man, who's a scientist, off... And you think he's going to die, but he doesn't. Bane saves his life, and you go, well, maybe Bane's okay. He has a funny mask, and he's funny. <laughs> then he goes to Gotham, Bane where he is. works in a sewer with his friends, and he has big plans. But Batman doesn't care for that, so he tries to fight Bane, and Bane man, Bane man goes, I'll, you know, we've been trained by the same man of okay. Ra's al Ghul's, and okay. Bane man... Wait, who's this guy? Ra's al Ghul's. Okay. Ra's al Ghul's is Wait, Bane... Wait, one second. <laughs> Ra's al Ghul's one, is... One second. Ra's... Yeah. Al Ghul. Ra's Al Ghul is Bane's best friend who Batman pissed off and killed. And so Batman is... Wait, uh, what did Ra's do? Ba- oh, Ra's trained Bane Man Wait, and what? Batman Slow at the down. same time. Okay, but what? Batman doesn't know this. Wait, Ra's? Ra's trained Bane Man. Yeah, Ra's trained Bane Man. Wait, I mean, I hear... Okay, Ra's trained Bane Man and Batman. What second? What, but, and what different- second? Let me just write this down. Ra's trained Bane Man. Ra's trained Bane Man. Ra's trained Bane Man. Ra's trained Bane Man. Perfect. Yeah, Ralph Chain Batman and Ralph Chain Batman. But Ralph Chain Batman before Ralph Batman. Chain Batman. Batman. <laughs> Ralph Chain Batman. Ralph Chain Batman. Ralph Chain Batman. No, Ralph Chain Batman then got to Bane Man because Bane Man grew up in a hole. So, <laughs> so Bane Man um, is freaking ticked off um, because of Batman killing um, Ralph. Ralph's al Ghul. And so Batman goes to try to fight his ass with his best friend Catwoman, who's a sexy little vixen. Um, and yeah. Catwoman tricks him, and then Bane Man breaks Batman's back, and he has he does it with no effort. Then he traps Batman in the hole. Batman watches TV while Bane Man tries to destroy Gotham City, <laughs> and Batman he can't stand this show, so he throws a rock at the TV and starts doing push-ups. Wow. My Uncle Tony broke his back right. in, like, 2007. It took him, like, four years to get back to normal. Well, this... Well, he doesn't have bat powers, my mm-hmm. friend. Ugh. Okay. B- Batman was bit by a bat in the 90s, and that's why he can have all these fighting Now, what powers. is Ra- what is Rouse doing through all this? Rouse's dead. He died in uh, Batman. What? Before. Yeah, and this is why Bane Man is so freaking how? ticked off, and that's why Bane Man taught himself okay. how to fly and steal planes. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, and so... W- once Rouse dies, everyone gets freaking pissed off. Yeah, so, but also I've been forgetting <laughs> to say... Rouse... Rouse had a... Uh, nice. Well, no... There's a girl in the movie who is freaking <laughs> so Once smart Rouse dies, and takes over Batman's this. business of Wayne Corp. Now, yes. Wayne Corp is run by the girl. The girl is doing Slow pre- down, my man. Okay. Listen, once Rouse dies, everyone's pissed. And where did that? Where did he go after that? R- R- um, Bat- Wayne Bat- Corp is run Wayne. by a girl who girl does a good job because girl cares about um, environment. Go, girl. So Batman... Uh, is doing push-ups and he's jumping from rock to rock and failing uh, and he's getting snagged on a rope. Then he learns I have to do more push-ups and not be afraid and then I can jump from rock to rock and get out of here. So he does. He does all the push-ups. He jumps from rock to rock. He's afraid of nothing. Security, cat, bad. He goes back to Gotham and this is a big moment because Bane Man has taken over Gotham and made it snow. And <laughs> this has never happened in Gotham before. This is a game changer for Gotham. There's snow. And everyone's freaking loving it. Well, every, no, they are not loving it. They're slipping all over the place. Oh, They're falling snow. in the cold water. This is not good. And in the meantime, Scarecrow is has become a lawyer, and he is bec- uh, running courts. And he passed he, the bar? Yeah, he passed the bar. He's running courts. He's sending people onto the ice. But Batman's there, and he sets on fire a bat signal, and he fight. He goes um, to Bane in the snow with the cops and fights them all. And uh, the cops um, are pissed, and Bane Man's uh, friends are pissed, and so Batman breaks Bane's face, Whoa. and then Catwoman runs him over and shoots him. And then Bane, Batman's um, f- girlfriend, who owns Wayne Corp, um, stabs him in the side and says, guess what? Rouse Ra- Ra- Al Ghul was my dad. And all of a sudden you go, oh, what the freak? 
So Batman runs to the sewer. The girl does too. She's got a bomb. Uh, she crashes her car by accident, dies, and says my work is done because the bomb's going to go off. But Batman has a bat plane, and Batman drives it to the sea. A and plane. It, yeah. And like the, in First Man. Just like that in plane, First Man. My plane. uncle Tony had his pilot's license, but it, he couldn't fly yeah. during the recovery yeah. when he well, broke his back. Batman's fully recovered. He's done wow. all the push-ups you could ever dream of. <laughs> uh, he drives it to the sea. It explodes. Wait, so let me – okay, bat plane, uh, bat plane – Bomb, bat plane booms bomb, now bat dead. Yeah. Well, that's what now you think. And then bat. Michael Caine comes in, and he, and you're reminded Michael Caine always wished Bruce would get away um, from Gotham. Michael Caine? Yeah, so Michael Caine goes to France where he's having his cappuccino, and he sees you have a Batman in France with Catwoman, and they're just hanging out and finally getting to relax and soak up some sun for the first time ever. And that's the end of the film. That's The Dark Knight Rises Heroes. And in the meantime, a boy goes to the cave and takes on... Um, he, uh, you assume he puts on the Batman suit and takes over the crime there. <laughs> and everything's okay. Yeah. Okay, you want to know what my thoughts are on, on this movie are? Yeah. Uh, what kind of music do you want? Uh, what do you think? Uh, you want something spooky or do you want something... Something triumphant. Something triumphant. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do one that we've never done before. Uh, okay, there we go. So, so this is this is this is pretty freaking spooky. Uh, so, uh, the Dark Knight Rises, uh, two thousand and fifteen. Uh, this one with Batman and Bane. Uh, where's Batman? Uh, Bane is freaking funny. Uh, Ra's al Ghul. Uh. Isn't it? Which is a plus. I love Ralph Al Ghul. Ralph's chain Batman ham. Ralph's Ralph's chain Bane. That's what. Ralph's chain Batman. Bane born in hole. Sexy cat and broken back. Uh, are you serious? Uh, uh, another thing that I liked about this movie is once Ralph dies, everyone's freaking pissed. And Wayne owns my girl. That happened in that movie. Uh, scaredy cat bat, now not so scared anymore. Now we're entering the third act of this movie. And um, let's get some... Okay, here we go. That's perfect. Now, uh, uh, cop cat bats and rouse my dad. Um... <laughs> But at the end, Matt Plane booms, Mom, and, and now he's dead. Uh, until the very end, spoiler alert, Mike, <laughs> Michael Cans sees Cat and Bat and everything's okay. So for all for everything that I just said, um, I, that's why I'm giving this uh, 2015 The Dark Knight Rises 10 out of 10. <laughs> I give it 10 out of 10 too. What did Clay give it? I give it. Let me just check my notes here. Um, Michael Caine sees it. Oh, oh, 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Brad? I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. Everyone gives us. That's the perf, That's the best score you can get in, <laughs> on this podcast. And that's what The Dark Knight, 2015, that's what The Dark Knight Raises gets. 10 out of 10. Perfect movie. Couldn't have done a better job. Yep. Okay, so I think that's the end of the podcast. Okay, let's go. Let's hey, wait. What did we learn today? Uh, well, today we learned all about um, Damien Giselle's new film, The First Man. Uh, we talked about Stranger Things, The Dark Knight, you got and that Banksy in there though. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. We touched on Banksy's uh, new controversial um, auction, and uh, that was another episode of the American Arts and Culture. Yeah, so please make sure to subscribe, um, tell your friends about it, comment, and uh, review it. Yeah, um, my name's Wit. That's Clay. We're here with Bud and Ron. Hi, baby. Um, see you around. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. 
For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team.